Welcome, Barbara and Esports fans. We're going to be taking a look at a match from about a week ago, I think, when this match first came down. We got Barbara in high school, uh, not on this side, over here on the other side. Just me with the solo cast here, Coach Kane. Coach Mosey is unavailable for the cast. Our last cast had some technical difficulties, and although we had the audio for it, the video was pretty uh, unwatchable, unfortunately, so we've just got this one coming out here. So as we go and join our match here, we're going to be taking a look at how our players do on Ilios. Um, I know that Ruins is probably the, the least favorite of the maps. We've got Tommy here over on uh, Sojourn. Up to the front, Golden Pants taking some space here, off angle from our Sojourn. The new team, definitely a strong one here. I've got the uh, high school name pulled up here. This was not uh, Norway, and that's who we're playing uh, this, this coming week. Uh, Nor was at East Canton, but it was, uh, I want to say, I'm trying to think of all our different opponents from the season. Right now, i got to concentrate on this fight here. Golden Pants forward, trying to get the push off the side, but did not quite get it. The Golden comes out. Hold back by the life weaver just in time to get the save. Still everyone trading back and forth, trying to get a pick somewhere here. Unfortunately, uh, the space has gone to the enemy team. And we can see that Barberton now is uh, not building up any charge on this first point. A trade up there with the Baptiste. Oh, almost goes down, but not quite. Nice first pick here, finally. Junkrat goes down. Maybe Barberton can get some momentum now and push forward off of this. Nice, another support. Or our first support falls, rather. The team is split a little bit here. Can they focus on a target out of Barber in here? We're hoping they can. May's taking a duel in the corner here. Gets their pick as well. So it looks like Barber's going to be taking this point here. Getting the last little bit of cleanup. More of getting the cap here. And the rest of the team pushes forward. I really like the life weird that we've been seeing uh, recently out of Barber. I'm really uh, enjoying the, the play there. Tommy going for an off angle here. Wisely waiting. Ooh, that Junkrat's burst damage makes me nervous here. But I think that they should still be able to make quick work out of uh, it. This is definitely a team that Barbara had not anticipated putting up the amount of fight that this team is. This is uh, Mineral Ridge, by the way. I, I, I finally got, got the name remembered here. Jump tire goes out. Ooh, does connect, but not enough to finish off the Aresa there. I don't know if she had the gold out or not. We team takes it back here. Starting to build charge. Tommy up with the ult. Tree of Life comes out too to secure, hopefully, push here. Ooh, the hammer comes down, but it looks like a lot of ults trading back and forth here. Well, I don't want to say a lot of ults, but definitely Barbara investing a lot in for this win. But they've got the ult economy to, to invest. And they don't want to let the enemy team keep getting those, uh, those picks. Oh, that May is so low. Really don't think they're going to be able to get the finish off here. Tommy goes for it, but uh, wisely backs out at the last moment. Jump grab Pekin, throwing some mines over the top. I'd like to see uh, the Arisa perhaps holding a bit more here, where they can use the cover of the pillars instead of just being on the ramp there. But it oh, looks like they got... Ah, good try. They got the... Go for the forward play with the ult there. Unfortunately, the enemy team splits off, and the wall uh, that was out from uh, Christian here, uh, it was just a little... I, I would like to have seen it with that ult there. I mean, definitely could push with the ult. Ooh, one over the edge, and then the May getting the kill on our May. It just looks like Barbin's going to be having a disengage here. Julian can touch maybe for a moment. They want to just kind of prolong the cap, but that's, that's probably just going to be dead here, yeah. I think it would probably would have been better to die there. Maybe they thought the team could come back in time or that they could get out, but it ends up just being a, not not a not a bad stagger by any means, but uh, one that could matter as the, the point is getting more and more percent here for Mineral Ridge. Mineral Ridge, not an opponent that Barbara has faced before, I don't believe, in any of their seasons. So this is, I don't know if it's a new team in the league or if it's just one that Barbara has just never uh, come across before. Ooh, that may all really zoning Barbara. Someone's gonna have to go touch this, but I, I don't know that they're gonna be able to. See the ults coming out from the enemy team. They built those ults in this meantime over as Barbara was kind of staggering uh, their their offense here. And although Barbara had some ults in the tank, 
Uh, they came out a little too early. They kind of were more responsive to what Mineral Ridge was doing versus being used proactively. And I mean, Ridge built those alts pretty quickly. They were sitting at, you know, Barbara, I think, had two alts. Well, I do want to say that a few of them were, were I suppose, used in the last engagement, but it just a little rougher. Now, let's see if Barbara can come back here along the shoreline at the lighthouse of Ilios. I'm hoping that they can. Let's run the clock forward a little bit here. Oh, maybe not that far forward. There we go. We don't need to sit and spawn and wait for uh, the teams to kind of come rolling out here. Up on height here, enemy team. They've got the Lucio, so we should expect the boops and such. Uh, they've got a lot of damage here. Hopefully, they may be looking to burst the Ryan shield down. I think a Hanzo would be just fine as well, but I don't mind seeing the Bastion here. I think they should look for a target, though. Trying to chase this Lucio on the side is not really going to be doing it for us. Marvin looks a little spread about what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, hammer comes down. It looks like this is going to be Mineral Ridge's fight here. We've got a little bit left on the point. But, I mean, you know, I see Tommy here ice block off the edge on purpose. Like, there's there's no there's, there's no reason to stay and, and just feed alt charge. It's easy to just say, hey, I'm, I'm invulnerable and I'm, I'm going down. Team resetting. Not really any hero swaps we see just yet. I don't know if any will come out. These heroes aren't necessarily bad for what we're trying to do. Um, we just need to make sure that we're focusing targets. That was a pretty sloppy initial fight there. Oh, that's really far in the back line, and now Barber taking it was essentially a 2v5 right there. I mean, we got a little bit of support from up on the height. Fight against the Junkrat up top, nice. Goes in the support's favor. But now we've got Tommy gone um, as we had the Bastion kind of going back to get a health kit to nurse their wounds there at the start of the fight. It's even right now, but I don't know that Barbadan's going to be able to push into this right now. At least I don't know if they have the confidence to do so. May has no ice block. This should be the time to push. Maybe go in on that May, but it doesn't look like Barbadan feels confident enough to do that right now. Bastion really sort of sitting up on the high ground. Just kind of spraying into... Oh, nice. The ult comes out from Golden Pants. Block comes out. Oh, nice. The freeze also. This is time for Barbadan to clean up here. The two ults together, but oh, counter ult from the May. Barberton might not be able to take it now. Yep, they're clean. They're knocked right back off. I think this might be Barberton's loss on this map. We're already up almost to what, almost to 80%. Getting probably by the time Barberton's back at or 85. It's gonna be last fight. And Barberton, I mean, they have the alt economy, but can they really do it? It just seems like uh, so far just sort of sloppy rollouts where. Um, some of the team goes in and others back out a little too early, either communicating that or not, I, I'm not sure from the comms, but just really, just not coordinated. Window out to supply some heals, I'd like to see someone come down in. Nice, the Bastion's buffed through that, but really at this point, I think we can just leave the uh, the Bastion, or leave the safety of the upper high, height for this, this fight here. Nice wall coming out to hopefully finish off this May, good. We've got the Kiri. Is she going to get finished here? Uh, maybe. Yes, now she is. I don't know. If I were her, I would have jumped off the edge there. Maybe look for a cute teleport if somebody was nearby. But um, instead, just feeds a bit alt charge to Barberton. But they've got a long hold they're going to have to be doing here. Call was put out to lay down some covering fire here. Hopefully zone the enemy team back a little bit. Or maybe look for Tommy to get a pick here. He doesn't have ult, though. Trying to build it off of the uh, icicles. Is that the swap to the Ram for this last fight looked like? And the Ram's ult's getting closer, so is Tommy's. They're looking for a nice, the wall on the May, but oh, they're, oh, they just barely don't get out. Got a little scary there for a moment. Heal's coming up on the Bastion, can they keep him alive? Lamp comes out, Holt comes out too. A little bit of a miscommunication there from the two supports using their life-saving abilities. And the same target when the life was saved. But it looks like Barbara's doing fine here. Tire comes out, is gonna clip anyone. Uh, looks like it, it hits Golden Pants, but I mean, you know, those arms aren't just for show. Uh, they they block quite a bit of damage. Tommy getting some picks from the enemy team here. It's a May battle, but I don't think the May is going to be able to do much here now that their ice block's down. They're just going to die. Oh, maybe not. Can they walk it off? No. They throw their ult, but I think that was a huge misplay. Unless this D.Va and Lucio can clean it up. I guess the Kiri's here too, but... It's more a little bit of desperation out of Mineral Ridge, and I think it shows a lack of discipline from them. They just held that 
May ult and waited for their team to come back, I think they could have pushed it instead of now having to take a fight with a lot less in the tank than what they normally would have had. I, I think that was a huge misplay from Mineral Ridge that really helped Barberton out there in the moment. Otherwise, this fight could be a lot more difficult for Barberton. They've got two ults here. I think a Ram ult should just be able to secure this. If they just hit Q, I mean, this is last fight. Barberton has the ult economy. They're probably just going to hit Q to win. And as Mineral Ridge is rolling out, this is a terrible spot to roll from. They're just going to be able to Maywall that and say, hey, leave us alone. Ooh, they're fighting here. Tree comes out. Ult out all around the board. Ooh. Mm, the Diva Bomb. Making some plays without those shield heroes for Barberton. But it doesn't really matter, it looks like. It looks like Barberton's able to clean up enough of the heroes. Spread the fight out enough, plus with the life of the tr uh, the heals from the life fleet weaver tree. Managed to push to a third map. This could go either way. Mineral Ridge or Barberton. Who's going to take the first map here? Set some of the pacing for today's series. Ready for battle. Let's go ahead and jump forward on the clock so we can get the rollout here from Barberton. Doesn't look like there's too many changes from the heroes from the last map. Maybe they feel what works before will work again. You know, we could see the standard, like, Lucio, Afara, or maybe even a Roadhog on here. But it just depends on what the players want to run. Looks the enemy team is running the Pharmacy, which is going to be pretty strong in this map. Barbara also doesn't really have the heroes to contest that. I mean, we've got the Mei, but well, it looks like the Mei is the sniper character on here. Tommy's hit scan icicles, making short work of the enemy uh, pharmacy. I, I don't know if it's just their bad positioning or Tommy's amazing aim there. Good, our ram pushed forward there, got the pick, and now this support is just going to be cleaned up here. Nice, the ram. Uh, I don't remember what the ability is called, but they pulled them down to the ground with the uh, the purple circle. I, I can't recall the name. Tommy going forward to get some picks here and build that ult charge. We already see it at 94%, so the ult is going to be coming out this next fight for sure from this May. That's that's such a fast speed. The enemy team is not going to be expecting the uh, freeze coming out that quickly. I mean, if they watch the kill feed, maybe they would they would see that this may has some sick ult charge. But uh, I don't know if they're going to be expecting that. Yep, there's the ult cuts the team off. They're going to get these two picks up here most likely. Zarya's a little harder to pick than the other hero, but the uh, the Reaper goes down. Enemy has out there. Oh, there's pick another pick from Tommy. Ice blocks down though. The rest of the team just needs to push forward here, and they do. Ram coming forward, support from the back lines. I would like to see the Bastion playing up a little closer, but they're doing all right. Probably could have translated that into a few more picks and a bit more alt charge for Barberton, but they do successfully force the enemy team back to the enemy team. Mineral Ridge now starting to build up some of their own alt economy. Teleport from the Reaper up top, but uh, Barberton kind of has eyes on this. Nice, we like seeing that early ult out to kind of throw some extra damage in. Gets the pick on the enemy support, and now it's going to make it a lot harder for them to push in with only a single support here. Nice. Stick. Oh, Tommy's here. Puts the wall to protect himself. Nice block on cooldown. Can they keep our ram up here? Because rams all here should be able to just walk on these enemy heroes. It looks like that is going to be the case. Ooh, the ult comes out from the enemy team, but unfortunately it connects with nothing. May Ice Block comes out, and then Ram just walks right out of the fight. Our own May ult, not May ult, uh, Bastion ult is now coming out. Tapping the enemy Bastion and showing him where a real ult placement should be here. Last tip of it comes out, and that's it there. Nice. Barbadon maintaining good positioning and ult economy there. Fighting a lot better. Really looks a lot more like the Barbadon that we're used to seeing on that last map, rather than the sort of disjointed fights that we saw um, kind of unsure where to be, when to go in on the earlier stages of that map. So hopefully we can continue success from Barbadon and Mineral Ridge, but I wouldn't count them out just yet. Let's take a look at our next map, which, surprise, surprise, and legitimately is a surprise this time, we won't be on King's Row. Rather, the other team has looked to pick a non-traditional, maybe not non-traditional, but certainly not King's Row map. We're going to be joining you guys again on Hollywood. Welcome back. Barberton taking first offense here. No, first defense here on Hollywood. Interesting uh, choice. Usually, uh, when the enemy team picks, you know, if you're confident that you can hold, you want defense first to maybe, uh, I, I suppose, uh, make the maps go by faster. But, I mean, that's a lot of confidence out of Barberton after a pretty tough first round. I would have actually liked to see Barberton have selected to be on offense for this map. But, hey, let's see what happens here. 
Um, Hollywood is not a map that Barberton typically struggles with by any means, but it certainly is one that, you know, teams just play King's Row. It's a great map. Um, so I'm interested in seeing what this looks like. Sigma is a great hero on pretty much every map, so I like seeing that out of the defense here. Looks like a... Ooh, nice rock. Ooh, almost gets the kill. So close. I think if we had some positioning and follow-up there from Tommy, we might have been able to get the kill there. Right now, the team's just trading from afar. This Reaper's trying to take some space, but yeah, nice rock once again from Golden Plants. Just saying, hey, you know, th this is uh, not your space, Reaper. This Rhine is cut off and is probably going to die here. No, Barberton not quite follow through to burst down that shield. Um, looking at Barberton's heroes, um, I do like the Hanzo quite a bit here, actually. So I'm surprised we didn't get the Storm Arrow in to burst down that shield, but maybe it was on cooldown from an earlier exchange. Storm Arrow, great for bursting down these high HP targets and really just quickly getting some value. Ryan trying to get here to swing, and I'm not sure what he's swinging at, though. There's uh, nobody in that room. I like them maintaining the height up here, pulling up there. <laughs> yes, nice. Now, that is a little scary because the cooldown's going to be off the next time we need to pick somebody up, but I think, oh, looking for the looking for the wall. The Rock was there to try to finish it up, but oh, nice. We see the all come out. Can they get the Lucio? Nice Lucio pick here. Ryan is on point, but who cares? Um, we go for the smaller targets first. This Ryan's cut off from their supports. There's no way that anything's going to happen from here. Trying to throw a bit of chip damage forward to try to clip someone, but uh, I don't know. Can Tommy get a killer? Nice. Good moves. Trying to farm a little bit. Now, this won't be like a couple weeks ago. I can't remember what team it was, but uh, we were able to sit right, Tommy, right in here, the spawn on Hollywood, and really pick at the enemy team because they just, they just weren't looking around, unfortunately, for them. But uh, no, this team is going to be playing a lot tighter. Um, I'm surprised that they haven't waited for their fifth person before they start rolling out here, but maybe they feel they'll be able to get out there quickly. Maintaining this height here. Barberton ready. I'd like to see an ult come out soon. Hopefully Dragon, especially if they take that low ground. With the Farah now coming out, though, that might just just, just dislodge Barberton from the height here. Forces out the lamp. Rock comes out, does not connect this time. Wall off, but, you know, it's just sort of delaying. Enemy team, Mineral Ridge coming out with an ult here. Dragon comes out, but connects to nothing, unfortunately. That Dragon was far too late for the, to, the, to the show. The positioning was just off. Didn't even manage to get a consolation kill. Now, although we've got a really nice ult out here from Barberton too, the tree and the ice, that counter Lucio ult. Barberton has not played against a strong Lucio player for a while, um, and I just don't think that they're ready. Nice up on the height to stop from being ice out here. Ult comes out, misses, well not misses the reach, looks like they used the gold to get out of there. Barberton still could win this fight here. Looks like they're going to secure it. All that's left is a Lucio. Looked a little dicey for a moment. Wish we could get this finish here. Can we out of Tommy here? It's Lucy's a pretty slippery target. Nah, he's going to speed out. Ooh, and Barberton loses Tommy here. Because he was too busy keeping his eyes on this prize rather than watching out for the kunai to the head. This might be Barberton's, uh... This, this is... Oh, uh, yeah, without a Risa ult. Ooh, nice pick on the Farah, but can they walk out of here? Lamp comes out. Tight fight, but unfortunately, these heroes on the enemy team are dealing, are, are just walking up on Barberton. Uh, they don't have something that can kind of punish them for just getting up in their faces here. Barberton needs to keep people at a lot more of a distance if they want to make some plays here. See, what well, part the Somber from Tommy, but I don't really think that's going to be helping us here in this moment. Um, we really need something that can brawl it out a little bit more against this enemy team. I, I thought the May was working just fine, so maybe the Somber came out to try to get back up to point quickly after the, uh, the death. But... Oh, is he going to break it? Yes! Just tries to buy an extra second, but uh, it's not really enough. They're looking for the Sombra, but they don't really know where she is. We've got heroes to shoot this far, but can we make can we make those connections with our our, our weapons to their hitbox? Uh, far showing a fireworks show off from up above. I really yeah, there's the pick. Um, they were far too high to really connect with any damage there, so not really anything more than a fireworks show. Ooh, the beat out to try to push forward. Can Golden Pants survive? Barberton not really bursting down a column to provide the heals, and the support's not getting into a position where they can get an angle on them. So unfortunately, Golden Pants goes down without a tank. This is going to be an incredibly hard hold here for Barberton. Another pick against one of their DPS. Angel trying to get out with his support, support, support each other, realizing that it, it's probably time to leave here. They, they, you know, who are they here to heal? This, this Sojourn? Or sorry, that's Sojourn Sombra. 
Well, they've got their tank here now. Maybe they can fight this out. Ooh, with that ult coming a nice counter ult from Tommy. Unfortunately, though, we need to walk forward here and do something. We've got some support ults. I would have liked to see the life we were and fought on point, but now the enemy team has walked it in as Barbin took the fight over here rather than on the objective. Now, we're getting some picks, but to what avail? You know, the clock has time on it now, and Barbin is just resetting here. I think we're, we're starting to panic as this enemy team has momentum, and uh, we're, we're taking fights in places that aren't advancing our own agenda here. We're taking fights on the terms of Mineral Ridge rather on the terms rather than on the terms of Barbara. Nice, can we keep the tank alive here? I think we should be able to. Nice, one pick here against the Kiri. Can we get more momentum against this horse? Yes, almost. The horse is walking away. No, will we get her? Punches, punches come out. Very far forward tree. I'm not so sure about this. There may have been a mistake ult. I'm not really sure. Would have liked to have seen the ult held. I'm, you know, if the fight was going to happen here, that's fine. But I don't know that we needed that right there. Might have just been a mistake. Regardless, not the alt placement that we're going to need. Um, and it's going to mean that the next fight has a little less in the tank for Barberton. The alt economies are somewhat in favor of Mineral Ridge right now, but not by a ton. Higher comes out, Beat comes out as well. They really want to push forward and gain some space here, but um, the tire just doesn't connect with anyone out of Barber. It just kind of tickles the May. I think she may have even been blocked when the ult went off. I think perhaps the Junk was looking for a bigger ult than, than you know what they needed to. They really just needed to connect with any hero to get a kill. Unfortunately, it connected with nothing. Barberton is split here. This Reaper bullying Barberton's heroes in the corner. Ult comes out from Tommy, goes on the pick, we get a pick here, another, oh, hopefully we get another pick out. That may ult, they're probably just going to walk this in now. Once again, Barbin's ult's coming down a little bit, this is kind of the, that fight is somewhere where I really would have liked to have seen the Life Weaver tree, had we still had it in our reservoir. But instead, we're just getting bullied right now, and I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be, yep, oh, no, Lamp comes out, can Barbin stabilize here? They need somebody who can just sit and fight Tommy on the Reaper to try to get some exchanges here. That May Spray is just making their life very difficult, though. Tries to get the Wraith out, but they have to keep maintaining touch on here, and no. 34 seconds left on the clock. Definitely something that Barberton could certainly uh, fight to and get there faster. Force it to a little bit of extra innings, as it were. However, uh, it's been a while since somebody has pushed Barberton to the third point. Let's move the clock forward a little bit here and get back to where we need to be over on first point as Barberton goes on the offense. What kind of hero swaps are we seeing here? I like seeing the Ana Brig pretty strong. We've got Golden Pants on the Arisa. Not a problem. Let me move the clock another uh, 20 forward here as we still are waiting for the spawn here. I think that this is fine. This is more uh, brawling sort of heroes here. I'd like to see them. They got to close the distance, of course. And it looks like the enemy team really not a lot of changes to their comp. But hey, it's not broke. Don't try to fix it. Ooh, a bicycle pick on Tommy. At this point, Barbin really is not going to be able to push him. He might be able to kill his Reaper. That was really far forward for him, but uses the Wraith to walk it off. No Susie from the enemy team, but Barbin's not going to have a chance to really push up here until they're all together again. Little Pants getting low, but Healers should be able to top them off without too much difficulty. Trying to find this angle of approach here from Barberton. Risa no gold. Could be time to push in. Funeral just taking all the hits. And this enemy Reaper in the back line cuts off the heals from connecting with Funeral there. This maze going down, I would say. Yep. Barberton's going to have to go back to the drawing board again, and, or rather go back to the pushing board again and try to get back into this. They're eating a lot of fire on approach and allowing their supports to be cut off by these Reaper uh, dives as they were. I don't like see right here. This Reaper, just kill him. All right, now he has no Wraith. Now it's time to push in. Ice Wall comes out almost. Can we get him? Yes, nice. Translating that forward pushes from the Reaper into moves. Now, I would go for this May if we could. Oh, their Ice comes out. This is going to be what we've seen happen to Barberton. Or Barberton has done other teams many times. Oh, so close. Almost that Curie's gone. Can't keep the heals up. 
and it looks like we're probably gonna lose Tommy again here. Not that they're in a bad position, but they're cut off from their supports. I wouldn't even crack the ice block there, it's just gonna make a stagger here for his team. Sports doing a great job staying alive. We've got the alt economy. Can we use these alts to turn it into something good? Uh, alt on to Golden Pants. Just walk in there. Brig ult is out. Trying to get the stun. Did not connect. Counter spins. Charge up from the enemy. Uh, Orisa is a little bit more damaged though. Can they keep barbing up? We can keep barbing up. Purple on the Orisa. Time to move in and get that finish. Get her down. Get her down while she's cut up from supports. Nice. Great moves here. Reaper in the back line, does he have ults? No, lucky for Barber, he has not yet built it. Oh, he just built it, but unfortunately for him, uh, he used it on nothing, or at least on a gold Orisa and an ice block. So Barber is very lucky that ult did not quite come online in time, or else that would have been a finish from the back. I'd like to see a few Barber and more forward here to kind of trade a little bit, uh, or at least exchange some uh, some fire, but they really wanted to have three on to say, we've, we've got to get onto this cart. They want to reestablish. Uh, thinks for himself. Nice pick from Funeral there. I think the May did not expect the extra damage there. Tommy tries to go in. Got the ult off. Unfortunately, Arisa can just walk that off. And the rest of the team was not trapped enough. I don't think they're going to be able to transition into a kill. They do. No supports here. Just the Ah, uh, that's the thing. The only support was the Lucio. He just doesn't have uh, what he needs there to try to get a finish. Harden tries to chase around to find this Reaper, but uh, cannot get to him there. A lot of time on the clock, and Barbara are walking pretty confidently here. Though the alt economy is in the favor of Mineral Ridge. So what are they going to do here? Don't really like spending the turret form there uh, when we don't have guaranteed hits, but I do like this ult coming out. Hopefully we can get some picks here. Counter ult once again from the Lucio. He's got that beat. He knows when to hold him. For when the enemy throws the ults out. Tommy hoping to make a play here, but the enemy team is just right up in his face. Wall comes out, and a whole ball of Barberton is this May. Man, a good May and a good Lucio. Something that Barberton has not had to play against for a while. And you can tell that they're rusty against that. They're not respecting this May's positioning, getting ready to drop those uh, ultimates right on their heads. And then not ready for baiting out a Lucio ult. They really need to either prepare for a Lucio to use their ult or, or uh, and, and know how to fight through it or disengage, or just be ready to bait this Lucio into using their ult. Make it seem like you're going to be cracking those things, or get the team low enough that they have to use the ult at a time where then you can translate it into momentum off of an ultimate afterward. Funeral once again getting low. Support save them. Oh, Tommy ulted here. But are we going to be able to do much with it? We hear the ult come out, but can Barberton follow up with them? Most of Barberton's over here. Are they going to be able to handle... Oh, okay, we do get some picks here. Lucio gets low, but I, I think when all the supports were filled, we uh, froze, we should have either killed this Orisa, or maybe it just was a weird time to ult. I think the, the, the move was right. The idea to do something like that was good, but unfortunately, um, not 100% uh, the right position for the team. Um, and that's a little bit on Tommy for not being aware of where the team is. That's a little bit for the team for taking a really long off angle, taking a while to get back into the fight, and then maybe struggling with who we should prioritize, the frozen folks or the other folks. I really want to see Barbara stuff them in this choke, throw some walls up, and make sure. Oh, see, once again, look at this all coming out from the May. She really knows how to throw them where they need to be. Barbara's going to have to back this out. They don't have the fight. They, 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 you know, There's no way they're going to take this right now. Golden Pants knows. They take the death there. Is Brig going to get out? Yes, I think so. I, don't, I know that we had the Brig ult last fight. I'm not sure. It may have come a little late in that fight. Like, Not late as in it wasn't helpful. It was helpful for securing a few kills, but it may have ultimately been a little unnecessary. I would have liked to have seen a Brig ult be on the table for this next fight. We've really just got maybe Tommy's ult will come online for this fight. Um, we've got the Orisas, but we've really got to get this point in here. I mean, we're down to 30 seconds. So this is this is desperation mode now. We're trying to get forward here. We don't have the golden on golden pants now. They're just going to have to ult and hope that they can survive through it. Oh, a counter ult from the Lucio, but we got the freeze off now. Barberton might be able to walk this in after all. Nice pick after pick. A Lucio and an Orisa, they can finish this Orisa. This Lucio's not going to be able to support them through it. Lucio's going to die on this. 
just walk it in here. Tommy moving forward to try to make sure that there's no one here. Uh, the real is there's a lot of people right there. That's the ice block. Uh, is he going to fight this or is he just going to walk it out? He's going to try to walk it out, but he doesn't have the resources to live. Nice, the Kiriko coming in for the save. Great moves from Angel there, keeping Tommy alive. They're going to go for this May. Uh, I think the turret form came out a little bit earlier without ice block being there. I really like to see these turret forms um, used at a bit more opportune times out of our Bastion plays. Uh, sometimes they're coming out when uh, either either before we're ready to really spray somebody down or before all the abilities to survive are on cooldown from the enemy heroes. Tommy forward looking to try to get some picks, but we really need to walk this a bit forward. Barbara able to put some space in there, they, they might actually not be able to out-time the other team. It might have to be uh, playing a little closer to the vest. This Reaper's looking for an ult. Is he going to get one? Ooh, Tommy wants to throw his ult as well. We can see it here. Brig ult out. Nice. Ooh, enemy ult coming out from the other. Oh, double ice. Ice on ice. Unfortunately, Barbarian's heroes are in the ice and the enemy teams are not. But this Orisa should go down here. Can we get the finish? No, it looks like the enemy team has come in to get the heals off. And this Reaper ult is about to make short work of Barberton, unfortunately. Yeah, we knew it was coming. We saw it. We knew that they had it. But I just don't know that there was much they could have done. There were just a few picks that just came a little short in that fight. And I don't think Barberton, we see the Kiriko. Sitting on point, doing the best they can, saying, Hey, please let me get my Suzu off cooldown. I've got to ult just so we can try to hold here. Can anyone else touch? Golden Pants comes in, tries to do their very best. We got Macy on here as well. We got two supports. We got a fight here. It's possible. Ult comes out. Oh, enemy hero once again. We see the beat. And it looks like this is going to be the first map of the 2024 season that I don't think Barberton. They're fighting so hard. Can they? No. This is the first map. And maybe the first series, Barberton might not be able to produce a, a win. We'll see as we come back for round two. Barbara's got to win two more maps, and it's hard to shake off a loss sometimes. So let's see what Barbara can do. Our next map is going to be Servasa. So we'll see you there and see what happens. Welcome once again, Barbara and Esports fans, to a map that I think is growing on us. I think we're realizing Flashpoint is not the end of the world. It's just... A lot of time when you're playing Flashpoint, you're playing with random folks in lobbies rather than people you know and can count on, like the Barberton High School esports team. So with the team rolling out here onto, uh, looks like, ooh, nice pick. Sorry, I missed the first little bit of action there, rolling the clock ahead. Barberton is looking to secure the first point on Servasa here at the central proving ground. Then we'll see where the points go from there. Nice! We got the Wrecking Ball here moving around. And I mean, I don't think a lot of people play Wrecking Ball. Uh, these days, so the enemy team, Mineral Range, might not know how to finish it off. Nice picks here, left, right. Barbara not losing a single hero and really cleaning up the enemy team. Picking targets, isolating them, and also I think that maybe, because this is still a newer mode, it didn't really look to me like Mineral Ridge was as tight or as strong as they are on other situations. Tommy in the back line being a nuisance saying, hey, you know, I'm on Sombra here, so you know what, I'm just going to literally give anybody I see the worst time of their life. Now the team says, well, do we take in this fight? They're, they're confused now. Do we do we fight? Do we go back? What do we do? And the answer is, well, they're going to take a uh, 4v4, but it's about to be a 5v4. As Tommy's going to come in the back line, hack a target, and then, well, we're probably going to lead them them. Yep, there you go. Barber and Sports keeping themselves up. Oh, they do lose more up here, but I don't know that it's going to matter here. This, this We'll trade um, one for five, actually. I think that's a pretty good trade in our favor. Well, one for four. Though Tommy's looking to pick up the junk rat here, and they do clean them up. Heading out. Where, where are they? Jeez, I feel like I'm Mineral Ridge here trying to figure out where the Sombra's go. First point, easily going to Barberton. They leave some heroes on point, and now they're just saying, let's, let's just go to the next space. Our next point is all the way over here, I believe. He is this one. Uh, yes, this should be our next flashpoint. Ooh, enemy team gets here first. Genji going in by himself. A little scary here. I don't really like that play out of our Genji there. Once again, uh, we gotta, Christian, you gotta watch that position coming in. Nice ult! Making it so that the enemy team is vulnerable. We might lose Tommy here, but I think it's gonna translate into some kills. Ooh, enemy team Mineral Ridge putting out their own ult from that May, but this time Barberton spreads and plays around it. 
Really, only losing um, Morb in the fight. Uh, once again, you know, I'll trade one player for the point here, and Morb made some big contributions in the fight. Tommy here, once again, tickling the enemy team. They're like, gosh, we've got to do something about this Sombra, guys. What are we going to do about this Sombra? And while they're figuring out what to do about the Sombra, uh, the Wrecking Ball is now giving a bit of pain to them. We got the Genji going in to fight as well. Now he's got no heals on him here, so a, a little risky. He's got a little bit out from the Moira, but uh, once again, it's worth it if we can make these trades in our favor. I'll trade a Genji ult and a Genji life for three enemy heroes. And more charge time, because the, the charge comes so fast on him. Will Genji be back for the next fight, though? I think Barbara needs to decide what ultimate they want to use. They've got the economy here. They can set the tone of this next fight if they use their ults properly. How are they going to use them, though, is the question. I think Wrecking Ball is looking for a place to roll through, but just hasn't yet to really get a good roll coming out. We see B Wrecking Ball's ult as well. Oh, we see all the ults out of Barbara here. They say this is our point. I think a little bit of an overcommitment there. I think we probably could have held one of our support ults um, for this fight. But you know what? Um, I think it's definitely still translating into another point for Barbanen. And after that last map on Hollywood, they're really... Oh, let's finish this jump. Pretty nice. They're really looking to just say, hey, can we, can we just reset the momentum for B-Town? That's what we're really looking for here. Sombra looking for the pick. Sees the soldier, goes for it. Are they going to get picked here? No. But they do have to use some cooldowns and resources to contest there. Barbara and on to the point, it looks like. Trying to decide where they want to fight from. Golden Pants comes in, rolls back out. Ult comes out from the Sombra. Can Barbara transition this into kills? Yes, 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 and yes. Oh no, I saw that from more. Unfortunately, fell off the edge. Not pushed. They fell. We'll call it out. It happens. But unfortunately, that small mistake there actually has set the pace not in Barbin's favor. But instead, as, as the confusion that fight happened, it looks like this point is going to be under the control of Mineral Ridge. I'm trying to get a kill here, but hacking the Joker Queen is not really going to do much for us. We need to go for those little picks in the back line. Barbin does not have the alt economy in their favor anymore either. Oh, Genji, what are you doing, Genji? Your supports can't see you. And you don't have an ultimate to use either. If you were trying to build it in the last second, not quite there. Nice picks here. This looks like it's going to translate over to Barbara when they did lose one support in that fight. But they should be able to get this kill on this May. And then clean up on this Junker Queen as well. Nice, the slam comes down. She's finished. This should be Barbara's point. Can they hold? Is the question. Ports topping everyone off. Morb should be back to battle here momentarily, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Tommy gonna look for some tickle fights to have in the back. Genji's ult coming out. But once again, you can ult the back line. But if the whole team's playing on top of themselves, it's a little scary, but we're turning it into kills. We have the follow-up from the rest of the team with Tommy going in, and in the confusion, we also have some Wrecking Ball kills. It ended up working out, but you know, I don't like seeing our, our our Genji die after like one slash of the sword. We really want to see some more kills there. Uh, make sure that, you know, maybe you're going in, you ask the uh, Moira to preemptively throw a heal orb. Make sure that your uh, Morb, your, your uh, Brigida has the armor packs at the ready. Fight here with the soldier. Tommy goes down. I'd like to see mines come out right here in this space to deny them walking forward. But instead, Barbara's seeding a lot of space here when they've got several alts available. Morb comes out, but the rest of the team backed up. I think the call was maybe to back, and perhaps there was miscommunication. Or maybe uh, everyone started backing and didn't communicate that's what they were doing. It just, you know, this, this might be uh, Mineral Ridge's point. We might have to go to a fourth point here. Will Barbara contest? Or not. Got 99% charge. Got two ults in the bank. Looks like we're going to try to get the mines out here. Mines come out and the hack. This should be enough to finish. Can we get this May down before? No. But it looks like the Junker Queen falls. 
side fights over here with other heroes. Looks like the Genji and the Mei are going to clean up the soldier here, or try to. Well, the soldier just kind of runs forward and doesn't really do much. So this is going to be Barbadan's point. It looks like Barbadan takes Servasa every point here. It looks like the last fight over there between two heroes, but we don't get to see it. But we do get to see Barbadan taking another map. Let's go to push now. Traditionally a difficult map mode for Barbadan and many teams because it's very important to establish momentum early on and get that two or three fights won, get that first point secured, and after that it becomes incredibly difficult for another team to push back through you. Will Barbadan take it all the way to the final point? Or will they just simply hold the clock and hold forward with the bot and uh, secure a W? Or will Mineral Ridge strike back and force Barbara into a fifth map for the first time in the season. So let's take a look at Push here in a moment. Ready. Welcome to Push. Let's take a look at what we got. Oop, went a little too far there. There we go. Barbara is not red, they're blue. Keep thinking they're red, we oftentimes are red, so. Looks like Barbadan rolling out to, looks like, take some of the height over here. They like to play the height because why wouldn't you take advantage of height? Why would you walk on the low ground unless you had a strat or base around it? I think that that's something Mineral Ridge is making a mistake here, so I don't know how this first fight's going to go for them. They do have a Torb, which is interesting, so I wonder where the turret's placed. Over here, uh, not really going to get a lot against Barbadan um, because it can't really see Barbadan unless they take a bit more of a forward position, so I think Barbadan's going to be able to use the height here to their advantage. In fact, we even poke the turret down for a little bit extra ult charge, though Mineral Ridge is starting to walk this bot forward. A little bit of a miss on Tommy's uh, Disruptor there. I think that's the name of that, uh, Disruptor Field. Oh, now we pick, get the first pick. Another pick. Angel, nice. Good right there. It looks like Sigma eating, but we've got some different abilities coming out from both teams, both life-saving abilities. On cooldown. Can we keep these heroes up? No, we lose one. Can we finish this Sigma off? I don't know. Just melee him. He's got the shield out. Now he's got no health bar. Barbara can walk it back. Hopefully start pushing the bot in their favor. Turret comes out, but as it's building, it is now gone. Ooh, Tommy gets a little low, but we've got supports here to help us out. Only a few. Tommy gets another pick. Enemy team may be staggering themselves out a little bit as Barbara goes to regroup. May, sitting cart. Oh, tried to get the axe swing out there, but didn't quite connect. That's all right. Barbara just says, hey, we're going to walk the bot a little bit further right now. You just have to wait over there. Sigma with the, uh, the, the <laughs> bullet eater out there. Nice. Something to shoot through for Barbara. I need to see a few more heals, though. They're getting all this May. Oh, no, not May. <laughs> ult comes out. A lot of ults. Two ults from the enemy team here. Golden Pants knows to die here. That was a lot of ult committed just for that little bit right there, but by the same token, every little bit counts on push. If Barbara had been a little bit further, it would have reset the momentum, and now it is Mineral Ridge setting the tone and the pace again. I think um, this is a little tricky here, you know. I like I like that ult out from Morb. Um, I just think that Barbara um, had a bit of difficulty, I think, uh, playing around the ult committing of the other team. And I mean, that was kind of the other team, Mineral Ridge's uh, fight to win there. Tommy taking the off angle in the back line, taking some fights, disengaging, but also they've got the ult out now too, so they're really popping that railgun out here. Nice ice block from Christian there to stay alive. We see the lamp coming out too, just in case. Ult comes out, enemy team is frozen. This is exactly the kind of May ult that we want to see. We might lose Tommy here, but I think that this is going to translate to a Barberton W for this fight. It looks like it is. We don't even lose anyone in that exchange, it looks like. So everybody on Barberton staying alive, getting topped off, getting ready to move to the next fight. Tommy coming back for a few heals. But how is Mineral Ridge going to roll out here? Looks like they're taking the height here. A little dangerous. I'm worried that they would get popped there. Well, now the turret's just going to die. Uh, the, the ice block goes the ice block goes out, but I actually think they could have kept it uh, down so they could have picked the turret, but I don't think it's terrible either. An ult on almost nobody here. Um, Barbara wisely moving out ice block from Tommy. Wall on the Sigma. Can they walk it in? Spray. That doesn't get eaten by that this uh, uh, accretion field, I think it's called. It's, no, accretion's the rock. Whatever the field is that blocks the bullets. We lose Angel, unfortunately. Turret goes down again from the enemy team. 
We've got ults here. What ult are we going to use to translate into some momentum here? Ice block comes down. Nice, huge purple out from the enemy, uh, or sorry, from our Junker Queen onto the whole enemy team. The Mei throws an ult, but I, I think this ult would be great for Mei if she didn't realize, perhaps, that her team was all dead. So that was more just like, you know, a sample of the winter weather for Barbadan, without really that cold chill of death. Should be able to walk it in here. Barbara needs to use either Morb's ult or be ready at least with the counter Zen ult if health gets low from our team. We can't afford to lose anyone here. Love seeing Morb's ult come out here just to sort of fight into the enemy team, make them... Ooh, it's close. I'd love to see... Oh, no. There we go. I was worried. We lost a few too many before, though. I'm not sure Barbara going to be able to walk this one in now. I think that ult should have come out just a little sooner from the Zen as heroes were getting low. Because it's a 5v... 5v3 right now. A 5v4 looks like the Bastion was picked. Well, now it's a 3v3. This could go in Barbadans' favor, but their heroes are coming back. Bastion's coming back. But so are Barbadans. A little scary here. Mineral Ridge still has the momentum. Tommy taking a fight against the Bastion in the back line. Gets the W walking around the back. Christian coming in with the sprays alongside of the Junker Queen. We're taking space, we're taking names. And where it looks like we're gonna be taking this point. Oh, this this May has no ice block. They are very dead. Nice wall from Christian to keep them trapped in there. You love to see it. This is Barbadan space now. It's gonna be hard very hard for the enemy team to win enough fights in a row. Let's come back to this Bastion, wildly out of position. Barbadan makes the play. Oh, picked up in the air. Dropped down, but the lamp comes out just in case it's needed. Oh, the ult comes out. No connection, though, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to lose Tommy in the back line. So he can get out of here. He does. We trade a May for a May. New team throwing out the Moyer ult. Barbara just says, let's just walk away. Let her have her little laser light show. Give her some space. We'll walk it right back in in a second. We can't get picked here. Angel cut off from the rest of the team. Will he die here? No, looks like they're still fine, but it's a little scary. The enemy team sees them. They're probably going to get picked. They ult and now say, okay, I'm walking out, but let's just use this to walk in. So we try to walk in a little bit here. Oh, ooh, scary. Tommy gets a pick. And ult's coming out from the enemy team. Can our Joker Queen make it out? She gets the health kit. She's back in the fight. Barbara translating these uh, kind of desperation plays into satisfying wins. Cerise is on her own. Will she get picked though? Hard to say. Pretty strong, sturdy target. I know Tommy wanted to chase it a bit further, but he saw the team coming out of the spawn. Uh, interesting. Enemy team throwing up cover for us. Walls out. Can we live through this? That's a lot of low heroes. Let's get some burst heal out for our team if we can. Do we have the uh, the shift, the the AOE heal from the, the Morb? Yes, we do. Barton wisely disengaging here. Ult comes out. Some purple heroes. Can we kill this Kiri? She must not have her cleanse because she doesn't pop it. Must be on cooldown. Unfortunately, not the not the good time for the Kiri to cleanse. Heroes fall. Looks like Barbara might be able to walk this all the way in. Can they kill us Moira while she's ulting? And the answer is, I think they can. The answer is yes. Oh, or at least she has to disengage. No, she does get the, do get the pick. Barbara even has Tommy's ult here. I'd like to see him crack it just to say, yep, here it comes out. It says, hey, if you show your face, you're going to eat a railgun. And Barbara they walk it in. We love to see that. It's amazing to see someone push it all the way. Very tough map, but they really came together there. We started to see them really concentrate on targets. Mineral Ridge made a few mistakes here and there, and Barbara started using their alt economy really well to set the paces of, uh, of the fight. I like the hero picks we saw there. Um, I, I think there were a couple moments where they were off uh, their game there, a little, a few mistakes. But Mineral Ridge was not able to capitalize on those minor mistakes from Barbadan. And Barbadan was able to take some maybe unorthodox plays here and there and turn them into victories. So with that, thank you for watching. And we will join you guys again in the future 
um, for another cast and hopefully another Barberton victory. Two more games of the season, and they promise to be two of the toughest from this 2024 fall season. So we're so excited to bring those to you when we have them, and hopefully we'll be excited to bring you some Barberton victories, but competition, as always, in the Northeast region is fierce. We'll see you then, Barberton Esports fans.